Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome into 2015. I know that this is slightly late and we're on the 3rd or 4th of January now, but this is the first vlog of and video of 2015, so it's time to catch up with everything that I've missed over the last two weeks, what I'm going to be doing today, and looking forward into the next month in January, talking about uh, me heading into central London to go supercar spotting and having a competition every single month, and we'll find out what is the best month to spot spot supercars in central London as part of a 2015 challenge. But as you can see, I'm sat in the passenger side in a quiet road in Watford, about to get ready to drive into central London to meet up with a good friend, and we're going to be testing out his new video camera that he got for Christmas. So I'm really looking forward to giving you a behind the scenes uh, feature of what's been gonna be going on today. And um, then I'll be pointing you in the right direction to head over to his YouTube channel and check out the full video, because we're gonna be going to some really cool locations today. And um, I'm just really looking forward to it. This is the first time um, that I'm gonna be able to stretch this car's legs in 2015. I'm really looking forward to it. I've missed it. I've been away for nearly two weeks, or the car's been away for two weeks, so it's time to start it up and um, head into central London. Now I'm in the driver's seat, and uh, this is not the first time in 2015 that I've started it up, um, but the first time on camera. Let's open the window as well, actually. I have missed this. And I tell you what, not driving this car for two weeks and then getting back in it, um, familiarizing myself with the interior of this car, how low it is, how high this center console is, and everything else, um, it is a really special car that when you drive it every day, and like me, I'm doing a lot of videos every day in this car, driving this car, you do lose that sense of um, how special this car is. And then coming back after two weeks, um, this car is so special. Um, and for those that follow me on Twitter and stuff, you would have known that I, well, actually on here as well, that I was driving my old car, the Vauxhall Astra, which sadly didn't make it back from France. And I will quickly touch upon um, the car incident that happened over in Northern France. But um, let's go for a quick bit, quick bit of mouth cam. stations where you take a ticket and then you drive down the motorway and then you pay at the other end. We were in the first toll booth um, just south of Calais when uh, my brother was getting a ticket. I was in the car behind, completely standstill, and then a car, the car behind, which was a 2014 64 plate, so a brand new Mini Countryman, um, apparently the brakes failed and smashed into the back of our car, which was the Vauxhall Astra. Um, which we then hit my brother and mum and his girlfriend in the car in front and it was um, not the most enjoyable experience and um, it's all going through the insurance so there's not too much more I can say about that but that was the accident. I'm pretty sure the Mini's been written off um, and definitely the Vauxhall Astra is no more, it's been written off as well. So my first car 
he's unfortunately not on the road anymore, which is a sad time. But once we got to France, we got to the house, it was a uh, brilliant escape. There was no signal, no Wi-Fi, which is why I was so quiet on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, YouTube as well. I hope you enjoyed the videos that I put out celebrating 2014. Now I'm heading into central London. I've made it my New Year's resolution to head into uh, central London a lot more and do a lot more car spotting and bring back the original supercars of London, continuing still with the vlogs and everything else. And over the next week, two weeks and month and everything like that, um, the supercars of London plan and, and direction for 2014 will become clear, 2015, sorry. Thank you for all of the entrants for Make Giving Fun, the hashtag Make Giving Fun, where you can win the chance of a supercar experience driving day. Um, fantastic entries. There's been loads more entries than there was on the Twitter retweet competition. I haven't picked a winner yet, and that's purely because we got back late Friday. I picked the car up. This actually had a flat battery yesterday, so that was a bit of a mission, trying to get that to start. Um, and I've just been recovering from the journey, the drive, um, and now getting back on into work mode. So we've arrived on Sloan Street. It's absolutely empty on a Sunday, and I'm with Matt, 458 MRP, Hello. who is doing uh, the video today, or a, a special feature on my car. So we're gonna jump in, head towards the tunnel that's got covered in loads of graffiti. Yeah, get some nice shots. Get some nice shots, revs, and then um, try and find some open road. Yeah, let's, do it. let's go. Okay. So now we're in the graffiti tunnel. We've just been down into this section where they've shut the gate. And maybe that's because it's a Sunday, but all of the lights are down there where all the graffiti is. I've taken some nice photos which I might add into this video, um, but it didn't go as planned. So uh, where to now? Knightsbridge? Back to Knightsbridge to find some more cars. Back to Knightsbridge to find some cars. <laughs> Actually. I'm gonna do a rev while I'm in this. Good? Very good. <laughs> right, let's go. making our way back home. We've had a fairly successful day in London. We've seen some cool cars. I hope you enjoyed some of the videos that I was able to capture on my camera. And I'm also going to be making a more detailed video about that Porsche, which is unbelievable. Apparently it runs on 950 brake horsepower when you put the high octane race fuel in it. Um, it sounded amazing, definitely twin turboed, which is brilliant. And there you go, that's the first video of 2015 done and dusted.